Welcome to Dyson Sphere Program. My name is Nilaus and this is episode 22 of our Let's Play campaign. And uh, we are going to continue on what we started on last time, previous time. Uh, actually, I think it was a bit uh, ago with the antimatter. We're going to complete the antimatter cycle and just get the sun in our pocket, the hydrogen, no, the antimatter fuel cells, all that good stuff, which will be here at the very end of the tech tree. So we're going to be working on this one where we split it we're going to work on the controlled and annihilation reaction so we're going to get some of these spheres so they can get some amazing fuel rods look at that 7.5 gigajoules and 500 percent fuel chamber re recharge and we're going to build an artificial star i don't at this point know how much i'm going to use the artificial star because i think it's absolutely amazing to go on a new planet and just plop it down and go uh, the one thing that is so if if we look at this this is 7.5 gigajoules that's 7500 megajoules which is 7500 uh, divided by yeah so you have 7500 and then i consume at maximum rate for one of these artificial stars that means it can run for a total of 100 seconds at max rate for one charge so like that's that's pretty good like yeah it's a couple minutes for each one but it'll probably never be running at well really running at full speed so that's pretty nice that we have something that can so easily but i think i still like the accumulators for various reasons and also important here for the white matrix the last science tech is also needing some antimatter there at the end so however well it's so easy when uh, when playing a game like this and editing it for YouTube just to clean up all the mess and then only show the stuff that works and that gives a nice impression that I am playing flawlessly and everything is awesome and you know all that but you know that's not always the case so we're gonna start by uh, debugging this thing here because I noticed that uh, suddenly it stopped I'm not getting any solar sails in and I've been bragging about producing 60 solar sails per second and well if we were producing 60 solar, se solar sails per second, wow, that's a tough one, then we would be seeing vessels coming in here all the time. So we'll go, we'll start debugging and checking what it is and figure out what the hell is going on. So there is a bit stuck here on the belts yet and also in here. So they'll start shooting, but you can see there's nothing coming out. There's nothing coming in. This is set. We'll check all the settings here. We know it has worked, so it's probably on the on the supply side. This is set to, de to demand it from off planet. It, is, it has some logistics vessel. It has some space warpers. It has, it says the minimum load of vessel is 100%. So we'll need to have 1000 before we even send one of these out. All right, so we are going to fly over to Iota Corby. That's where we build it, if you recall. It, my thoughts are that it could be, but I think that's a bit too early. It could be that we've run out. Remember on Iota Corby, we only had 250,000 uh, of the fire ice, and that might be what has run out. So we're gonna go there. We are gonna just uh, put you guys to sleep, and so it won't feel like a second until we are at Iota Corby. Here we are, welcome back. Iota Corvi 2, maybe? Was it 2? Can't remember. Nope. That was not it. Uh, no, that was not it. That's a boring planet. And we are going to find Iota Corvi 1 then. That's the one. Okay, uh, let's jump out. Corvi 1. Closer to the sun, I hope. Corby one there. Oh, we see some glimpsing here. So something is certainly going on from this location. We don't know what, but somehow things are working. And we'll do a mini jump here just because of laziness. And smash into the planet. All right, so let's start debugging and figure out what the hell is problem here. We're gonna go fly over and take a look at there. Well, this is certainly empty and it's certainly working. Uh-huh, well, there's so something is flying out sure but it's the graphene is not keeping up graphene should be keeping up should all be built at ratio so why is the graphene not working here we have it should be built at ratio oh oh no hydrogen is set to remote supply but it doesn't have oh look at that 
I have requested warpers, but I have not actually supplied them. So this little thing here, if I change it, we'll see if it stabilizes itself or it actually kicks into gear. So the thing is here, it, this has stopped because it's full of hydrogen and full of hydrogen. But I have tons of places that request hydrogen. So it's not completed yet. It's just that only once in a while will these be sending out. And there we go. It's immediately we'll start sending something out and this one will kick back into gear. Yeah, okay, so that's uh, that's good. Haha, <laughs> look at that. And all of this hydrogen is being transported to various other planets and just being converted into deuterium. Uh, deuterium. And what I want to do here, can I just add a bit more? Because now it'll never sort of catch up because it'll always be behind. So what if I just build like a tiny bit more? Just a tiny bit more. And I know I'm going to be knocking this one down. I'll just do this one so we can put them down in the ground good what and I will just uh, also show you there's an upgrade to the mod I know I talk about this mod a lot it, but it is absolutely a game changer uh, but it's been upgraded to version 1.4 and if you have not upgraded it make sure you update it take a look at how cool it is look you get now a full preview of where they'll be unfortunately it's not flawless because I think that yes yeah, see this is what I knew was gonna happen there when it has these chemical plants, it does have a tendency to get some of these wrong. But that's okay. I mean, if that's... Especially when it's close to the edge here. But what about if I take the other one? Let's see if that one puts it... It puts it in perfect. Good. And then a little power pole here. So why did I build these? They're not really strictly necessary. Nope. They're not. But if I... See, there's something on the side as well. Well, okay. So my... my me saying that it was way better it looks a lot better but yeah it still has a good to go and this is why we this is why without a doubt we need the developers to add this function so we don't have to rely on third party guessing and trying and using the unity engine to make unsupported uh, mods and it's 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 an amazing work don't get me wrong i'm so happy about the work that's been put into this mod but it's just more stable if it's become part of the core development look at that already now we've knocked out all of this then we have the graphene working again. Graphene is being picked up immediately as it gets done. And we can see that it goes. That's the sugar cubes coming in. I want to see some graphene going that way. Right. Oh, here comes one in. This has been out and about. Seven of them are out. And let's see. Also, another thing that's actually better is just take minimum load of drones. I sometimes find it annoying to the, that they send it out with one. If at least it's providing as well there's no reason for them to go out send 50 out when there is really isn't anything going on and okay so let's go to back here and see if we are getting some better speed Oops. oh no 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 uh yep they are huffing and puffing they are not well they are actually all the all the way to the end they're working so we are now getting back here what we would expect and we are now that's what we want to see we want to see this one just getting up there cool so that is a that was a a good example of what goes wrong. Imagine something as simple as a space warper input that was not set to local demand, and that caused all the problems. So we're gonna go back. Anchor system will be good. We are going to back to anchor two because now we want to continue on our hmm, on our journey to oh there it is on our journey towards the antimatter. And there was a comment in the previous episode about me just cutting this hyperspace out and uh, basically saying hey you can do it you can use the time to plug a sponsor and that objectively is a good idea but i want to say i don't have sponsors on my channel uh, this is a 100 percent community uh, sponsor channel so uh, the majority of uh, what's going on here comes from patreon and uh, yeah so i'll use this time just to thank the patrons who are supporting the channel and the work i do here so if you are interested in that and uh, then there's a link to Patreon. See, now I used it for plugging sponsors, my lovely patrons. And then let's see you guys back at Anchor. So we are already here, back at Anchor, and let's see if we can go back to this planet. Uh, oh, there we go. Uh, I just couldn't see it. It's really difficult sometimes. And land. Hmm. Don't have a lot of power, so we'll just land here. Boom and stand next to these two and get a bit more leech a bit more power from this there and there let's see this one's still in remote supply but we're not getting anything why we should be seeing things coming in huh 
We saw the other one just really being uh, demanded a lot. This one should be demanded here a lot as well. Uh, that's actually weird. Yes, 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 yes. So, it should be coming in. Maybe um, the other one is stealing all of it. Let's look at it from a Dyson Sphere. Ooh, look at that. Ooh, starting to take shape. And, oh yeah, look at that. This one is now shooting. So, this one has definitely received a lot of a lot of the vessels and the rockets are still just pouring out <clears throat> I wish you could oh yeah I was about to say I wish we could see how many rockets are needed we can actually we can just go here click one of these and then you can see it needs 55,000 in total for all of it and we actually already had 48,000 so I only need 7,000 more rockets huh and then we're done with the rockets and then it's all about them solar sails this bugs me uh, I'm not gonna spend time on it. Uh, I think that I know the other one works, so I think this one will work as well. It probably was just a timing thing. Maybe the other one stole the uh, stole it all. So let's uh, talk about what we're gonna do. We're gonna find a space that I have already prepared. This looks like a good space, doesn't it? Yeah, this looks like a good space, and there's more space here. And Clint Clay have caved out some big areas. Right, let's look at the process. Uh, we got the power here. The process is that one. What is the first thing we want to do? Well, we want to get these annihilation spheres. Annihilation constraint sphere. So you can't really just keep antimatter in your pocket and you'll very much blow up. So it um, it needs a particle container. That's what we did with the unipolar magnets. So that we have tons of, of particle containers, I hope. And some processors. We also have built upgraded that long ago. But this one is on the 20 second cycle. So if I build 20, a row of 20 of these, then I'm going to get one and a half. So if I build four rows, then I'm going to get six. And six of these, if we look at... Uh, let's see. I can look at it from here. This one. No. The hydrogen fuel cells. That's where we use one of these. But then it used ten antimatter. So if I'm producing six of these per second, then that corresponds to consuming 60 antimatter per second, which is, again, 60 critical photons. Right now, I'm producing 13 critical protons per second, so that's a hell of a lot of scale up. But I've also built up a decent stockpile, so I think getting this to 60 means that we can, or sorry, getting uh, this one to 6 means that we can actually get pretty good build. So let's start by making making one of this and just uh, building it. So if we have, we know we have four rows inbound, <clears throat> and I think the best way to do four rows is to and is to use some of these in the middle. I think that's a good idea. That one. And maybe that one. So, we are going to take... Hmm. This one will be returning. Yep, I think that's good. We want to make it as symmetric as possible. There. This one is also returning. Now I'll build this here. And then I need the oh I need to set up what I want here. I want to get this one and I want to get towards the other one that was uh, here. And then the output will be the annihilation sphere. And I also do I need warpers? I probably don't. No, I want to do it on this planet, so I don't want warpers on this one. Hmm. Definitely want some of these, definitely want some of those. And yeah, looks good. That means we can now get the outbounds here. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. And the return product. Okay, that's going to be a very, very nice clean build. As usual, you could say. I would hope you would say that. That. Oh, come on. And, as usual, I choose not to have three next to each other and just slide them over by one. I don't think that looks good, so we're not going to do that. And I will just, you know, we'll just set the inserters up here and then I can do this. So this is just in, 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 out, out. Let's take the outbound first. And that's it. That's four... No, three, 
12 inserters or sorters is all I need to do. And now I'll build the rest for you. So this is how easy it is now with this mod. This is absolutely amazing. As long as you do uh, parallel to the equator, this is our equator, and as long as you do uh, we're not at the very top, then it works absolutely amazing. So that's what we're going to do, and I'm going to switch back here. And while I switch back, that reminds me that, yep, there is there's a lot of people in comments, and I really appreciate it, coming back and saying, hey, there's a mod for easy switch between god mode and normal mode. I know. There's an easy deconstruction mode. I know. There is a mod for cheating on the overlay so you can see whatever's on every planet. I know. I'm not going to use those. I really don't want to play modded, but I can't put the repetitive stress injuries. Uh, I, I just can't. I just can't do the disorders. I, it's, it's just not possible for me to do that. So I have to do the use this mod, but I want to play the game as the developers had sort of intended it, if at all possible. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to request 2,000 of these. I think that both of these are available on the planet. Well, I know they aren't. These are used for Strange. This is used for... which is produced here. So I'm not going to replo, replo, ugh, remote demand it. I'm going to remote here. And I'll build 10,000 of those. Yep, let's do that. Cool. Let's see if this one comes in. And then we can go on to the next one. Is anything coming in? Yes. So it actually looks like everything is coming in here. Like that. And it's actually these our send out. Again, when it's just these local things, I really prefer it to go with full, full drones. It just feels better instead of just going with empty ones. Oh, it's already working. They are huffing and puffing, and that will be taking a while for it to go. It's producing 45 per or 4.5 per second per minute. Yeah, that's the instead of the three, then it's gonna be 4.5. So this one is only producing six per minute. No, six per second. Right, six per second. This is enough. This is way more than enough. So onwards. Next one. We'll just leave this be and move on to the next. And do, 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 do I want to build it here? I could just take this part here. I uh, don't want to do that. I want to do. I want to take it down here. This one. I build its own. Oh, maybe I want to build it here at this row. Yep. I hope that's gonna work. Uh, since it's big buildings, I don't know. Let's actually build it down here. I want to just make tons and tons of room for it. Right, so the next thing is the construction of, we're gonna go five, we're gonna go with these particle colliders. They're gonna be like this. And this is the Futurama headquarter. I think so. And we are making the recipe mass energy storage. Mass energy storage, that's a, t that's a strange one. How about like splitting antimatter? But we are going to split the antimatter, and this is going in at 2 per second inbound and 4 per second outbound. That's kind of a lot. So this one only has three inputs here. So we can't really do it in the way. So I want to do two inbounds, one outbound. I'm going to do it exactly the same as we did the other one. Yeah. Here. That means we are going to take this one. We'll be returning. Ah. They really want to put it into the middle one. And from here. Those are returning. And I'll take... Collide with another object, really? It does? What other object is it colliding with? Huh? That's strange. Am I blind? Okay, so apparently it doesn't want to be right there. Something about this tiles being too close then, I guess. Alright, well I guess uh, I guess that's a thing then. Hmm. Oh, yeah, with these it's important that we always start sort of closest to the middle. 
So this one will be, oh, we'll put in here what we are requesting. We are requesting, uh, what are we actually requesting? The photons, critical photons, they're here. And what we are expecting to get out is some hydrogen and some, nope, some antimatter. So I'm gonna take the antimatter on the inside here. So that works, that, because that antimatter can just go straight in. But the hydrogen will almost certainly need to go somewhere out here for a storage and then go back in. Because you don't know how that antimatter is working. This is so weird. I'm, I think we can actually do it here. We can still do it this one. All right, I, I'm not super on top of what's happening here. But I guess that's, uh, oh, oh, that's actually a problem, isn't it? Because I'm also going to get outbound from this side. Hold on, now I'm, now I'm doing it, now I'm doing it exactly the incorrect way. These two, these two have to change. It's completely the opposite of, so I'll have one here. that one on the other side yeah and I'll get another one on there because these are the inbounds we need right and now I need to figure out what I'm gonna do with the hydrogen ah oh, this is not great this is not great and I think I need to kill this like that and that means I am going to somewhere here get an intersection I use these intersections instead of going up because I don't like really, really like I've been I've had some questions about why I don't uh, elevate belts I just don't think it looks very good I mean it's it's a really cool feature to have it's just a feature that for me it, it feels like uh, Ah, I step down the dark side that once you do that then are you really are you really ever gonna be stopping because what you're gonna do is this like oh I can just squeeze it in here I can just do that one and I yeah you know what it's it's uh, you've uh, you've forever sealed your fate by uh, by using the elevator you can do it very very carefully carefully like you can use the dark side very carefully but you know that every time you do it there is just a risk that you will forever be influenced by it so that's my opinion about uh, race belts. It is the dark side. Very objective and uh, factual assessment, I would say. Uh, this one will be returning. Good. And this one will... Here. Oh, they're actually not correct. If I look at that one. There. And there. It's at this location, all right. And we get the splitter. Continue. This will be the critical photons passing through or prioritize this way and this one will go there. And I can do the same for this. Get a few boxes. Get a few more boxes. The thing is with the, uh, how did my, how did I not have that? There, easy peasy. We have everything available in our polar hub, so that's gonna be not a problem at all. And we'll go here, and I did it again. That is the returning, and this one is now the other returning. I'm happy about this. We are going to set up here. So it's gonna be, oops, one inbound here, and out here it'll be, on one side it'll be, the outer one will be hydrogen. Yes, and the inner one be the antimatter, this one will be antimatter, and this one will be the hydrogen. I have to do it carefully, because I'm going to be copy-pasting it, so... Oh, autosave. Autosave is getting to be... Hmm? 
Uh, where did I go? What happened? Oh, I'm here. Antimatter is... Uh, or the auto save is starting to just increase a bit. Alright, first one will now be... Because that's the one that goes straight in. And the hydrogen goes out on the outer lane. Hydrogen goes on the outer lane. And antimatter goes in. There. And then they're made nice and neat and orderly. And what I'm going to do now is I will just set up everything. And then we'll be going out. Why, oh why, is this not working? Uh, ah, this one. Because that's actually the outbound. There. Now I have four lanes out. It's not really... So basically, since this is consuming one per second, if I have 15, then it can consume two belts. If I have 30, then I could keep even more. But we'll just go with 15 on either side. So it's going to consume two belts of... Uh, two belts of uh, this here. And that's going to be 60, which is exactly what I can consume over on my other belt. Where the hell did the other belt go? Oh, there it is. Huffing and puffing. It's going. Cool. I'll be building this, and then I'll be back in a bit. So this was <clears throat> honestly a bit of a nightmare build <laughs> because I built the whole thing and then found out that there's only room for 20 or 12 up here. So I had to remove the whole thing one back. That's why I should have probably started from this way and moved the other way. And I can also see that not everything has been placed correctly. That one and that one. Yeah, that's because I probably placed them on ghost belts, I think. Yeah, the last couple of builds. That one, that one. All right, we're going to have to monitor to see if it actually works. Here. And that one. There. And that one. Here. Looks good. And it did save the... This is not great. Not great at all. How are you not working? There. Yeah, so you have to monitor just a bit to see if they are working what about on the outside there also seems to be something here okay so yeah it's it's still better than not doing it but don't expect it to be perfect you can also just hook it up oh wouldn't isn't that funny no it is work you can also expect it just to work and then just monitor it when it starts operating now we're just gonna run down here and see if it is working on the other side as well this also looks fine. I think there's lots of inserters that might be missing one here and there. And we'll just uh, get it started. Let's see. We're going to put drones. We're going to put these vessels. We're going to request some of these because I don't know, but they'll probably be shipped off to somewhere else for making this one, for example. And that one could be shipped off as well. So I'm going to request. Uh, do I request local global? Yeah, I probably also have something local. So we can do a global demand and a local demand. And we can just supply it locally and globally. I think that, I mean, I know it is globally, but I should say, like, remotely. I'm going to set this minimum load of drones. I think I prefer that so that if it's high quantity item, instead of them just going out with, like, one, two, then just make sure that they go out with a full full load here. All right. It's huffing and puffing. It's spinning like crazy. All right. Let's uh, run down here and see if we can find some spinning things. Or something that's not spinning, basically. It should be barely getting to the end of the end of the line here. Oh, well, that was not it. Oh, the next <laughs> batch comes in here. Come on, how far do you go along the lines? It will. The reason why is because they're starting kind of saturating these, so it'll go every time <laughs> the new blitz comes in, it'll go slightly further. But it does look like everything is working. Look at that. That's the only one that isn't huffing and puffing yet, and it's simply because of lack of supply. Looking good. Are we getting the next? Blitz inbound. Are we even in a position where we're not getting stuff inbound enough, fast enough? It might actually be. But we're making lots and lots of uh, this. All right, here we go. That's the big ones, the vessels coming in, I'm pretty sure. Let's see if we can follow this all the way and see if it goes to the end. I don't think it will, but okay, now that it's a constant stream, it should go to the end. Go, go, go. And it is. So now we've seen that every single one is working. That's great. And we have stored it up here. I don't care about these last. 
All right, so going back to this one. Yeah, it's been, it's taken a while. So this one has obviously filled up. What is the next thing? The next thing is to make the hydrogen fuel cells. And where do we want to make it? I think we could make it that way, I guess, or hmm, it's probably not going to be a big build. It's bit, this planet is getting a bit crowded. We'll take this location, yeah? Let's see how long it takes to make it. This is made in, it cannot be made in a replicator. It takes 12 seconds. Okay, that's okay. And let me just see. I think that's the location we are, we're going for. We have one of these. And what do we have on the other side? We have one of these. Okay. I can't use those, by the way. Because if I look at this, it will have way too many inputs. It'll have four inputs and one output. That's actually pretty bad that it has four inputs and one output. That means one tower is not going to be able to support all of it. Hmm. Well, that's that's kind of... Yeah, this is why I usually prepare places for this. Uh, this is the, kind of the best place then. It's also really close. Alternatively, I could... That's the build we just did. Hmm. Uh, I don't think it's... It's definitely not a good idea to reuse this both as an input and an output. So I think it's better if we put it there. Yep. So right after these uh, exchanges. That one. So let's smash it in here and expect to have two outputs. Or inputs or whatever. Two things. How would we even do that? It's going to be one, two, three... That one, and it can't be right there. No, it has to be here and here. So how would I do this? That's going to be really cumbersome. Let's start by just looking at how many we want. We want to craft. This is on a 10 second cycle. So we want to craft four rows of 12 engines. Yeah, because then I'm going to consume all I have of the other ones. Yep. That's going to be it. Four rows of 12. That's going to be a small build. Oh, you know what? Then it's not going to be like this. It's going to be one inbound and one outbound. And... Uh, <clears throat> one, two, three, four big squares. Then that's going to be here. Alright, so this one will take care of the inbound stuff. Inbound stuff will be... Antimatter. Hydrogen, uh, Annihilation Spheres, and Titanium Alloys. And then, of course, we need <clears throat> one of these, for sure. I'm not going to request it yet, but that's how it's going to be. So, with four inputs, that means two on either side and then one extra. I guess so. I'll do it. The way we've done before so two on either side or an extra that means i need eight all right so antimatter goes here and the next one will be on this side it will be the hydrogen so oops and i'll build it here Hmm. Yeah, now I can kind of see the problem. Okay, I'm going to do this different. There. That one. And then I'm going to get two inbounds here. That's going to be the other two, the annihilation spheres. And it's going to be the titanium alloy. And then I can build this on that side. And I'm going to get two more inbound on this side. All right, we're kind of using all of them, aren't we? Yeah, we are. I think it's going to be good enough because I'm going to get six inbounds and I'm going to get six inbounds, inbounds to the other one as well. That one. And then we'll have... This is the finished product. Let's remember to call it that. I means every single one is going this direction. Nice. I 
don't think these should be here. I'll just make it one down. Yeah, and on the other side, this will be finished product going down here. And then I'll have to build a bit closer on the other side, otherwise I'll simply run out of things. That one. Hydrogen. I'll get two of these. One. And we're gonna get, what was it? It was annihilation shears. And titanium is the outer one. No. Right click instead of left click, doesn't work. And that one, and <clears throat> we want to make sure that we do all of this so that we can we can see the build working. And then the final one is, why is hydrogen on the inside? Ah, it doesn't matter, it is now. And the last output from this one will go there. That is complicated. And every single belt is going in this direction. But this is um, this is the final fuel of the game. So once we have this, we don't really need any of the deuterium fuel or anything else. That's probably going to lighten our load on the deuterium. But I don't really know if we are using deuterium for very much. I don't think so. All right, and insiders, that's, uh, or sorters, that's probably gonna be the most annoying part. Oh, 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 this one was also missing an out. Right. Ah, that's the furthest one out there. So this is gonna be super crowded. We'll do in, in, out. Mm -hmm. In, in. In, in, and I'll do in, in, out. Yes, that makes a lot of sense. In, in, out. There. And now all I need to do is just uh, copy paste this damn thing here. Let's see how far we can get it out. I think we can go. Nope, then it won't be. F there. It's two and a half. So that should be enough, I think. And we just need to build 12 of them. So let me build the rest of it and then uh, get it ready to hook up. I think we also, well, not to think, but we do need one at this location. This one will be only, only this. And it'll only be dedicated to taking the fuel rods and also make them available to the network. Boom, boom. Absolutely important. Cool. Let me build it and then I'll be back in a bit. All right, so the build is complete now. It's not actually a big build, big build but it uh, looks good and it just merges in because it's not big throughput. We're gonna set up here. Make sure these get some. Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on. Give me 100 and this is going to be local demand. I'll have all of this and set it to global. And on the other side, this is where we get things in. I will not request this globally. I will. <laughs> I might request this global. I don't know. I'll certainly get this one in first. So we actually have it. I'm going to get. I have to do this local. Uh, it's just my rule of, of doing that. Uh, you can't hydrogen I'll request globally because well we have an infinite supply of this but okay and wait for this but these have to be requested one single place to the planet and then requested here and that will be not supply not supply and definitely not supply local demand I don't think we have it oops this is wrong that one local demand and hold on this one will be local and global demand I keep saying global this one local demand and this one is not working so we'll have to set up somewhere that will get it into this planet let's have a look uh, I think one two three four that should be under oops no oh, it's not the one we do come on this one this is exactly where we want it so at this point, we are going to 
requested it will be local supply but remote demand let's get 5000 that's always a good thing there and coming in so that's going to be just a bit of time before anything actually happens on this one so we'll just wait for this one to be done and then uh, we can see that it, it is working here they come these are the ships coming inbound five ships coming in with 1000 each landing at this location nice and casual okay so they had to depart from this location that's why they were going and there we go we have a little flurry of small titanium alloy coming in let's see follow it along the edge that's our circuit processor build and come into our build there we go finally it comes in and we see they start offing and puffing and that should output some actual fuel for us that's nice as soon as we get some we'll steal the first ones and then we'll just never touch these again there we go that's the fuel we're talking about and i'll just be casually deleting everything else there can't even get this one out oh i don't have a lot of warpers left give me that there we go that's a good stuff there all right that should be helpful all right we've now done this one and we need to figure out where we do the last part the last part is well actually that's not the last part what we need to do now is we want to let me go here we want to build the sun part artificial sun because well that's kind of what we want to do and this is kind of so if you look at the three of the things here the titanium alloy the frames and the quantum chips are built on our home planet so I think that we'll just bring the artificial stars back home to our home planet. Also, it's been a while since we visited our home planet. So let's jump there and uh, take a look at how that's performing. And well, actually not so detailed on how it's performing, but actually just set up so that we can now provide the artificial suns to all locations that we need as part of our polar hubs, if we want it. All right, see you guys back home. So we're back in our home system. Let's head towards number two and three. They are close friends. They're right here. I'm probably not going to hit any of them. All right, I'll just hit this one. I can't see the other one. Oh, look at that. All our collectors here. Fly around, fly around, fly around. Um, kind of lost my planet here. Anyone? Anyone seen a little planet? A little moon? Yes? No? How many times around have I flown around this damn thing? Oh, there we go. It was kind of lost. And even when I'm doing... Okay, so we are now working on... Uh, using these ones. And they should be fueling up fast. I can't really see the difference. All right. So, what do we want to do? We actually just want to build a hub upgrade thing up here. And I think there's one of them that is actually... Uh, that's building something really shouldn't be. Look at that stone. Oh, how trivial. Let's go around that one, that one, that one. I think there's one that just has coal or some other silly thing. Like, is this one just a coal location? Yes, this is it. No, that one is the coal. Okay, so I'm going to use this one for coal and... There. No? Where are they making it? They're making it right there. So this one will be now making... Oh, I guess that might be too many things, right? This is one, two, three, four items. Huh. And none of them are shared between the next ones. That would have been lovely or easy, at least. It's over here. None of these things are shared. Oh, it's shared. That one is shared. Okay, cool. So I can leech that one from here. That's kind of what I'm... Thing. so what do we want here we want we can get uh the annihilation sphere mm -hmm. and that we don't have by the way and we're gonna get quantum chips and we're gonna get uh what was the other thing uh the frames yeah frames frames here and then we're gonna get the suns there uh, not so many not local supply no uh, we need 500 suns because that's what we do there is this one being supported by yep it has that cool so the one thing we don't have on this one is i'll take this out i'll take this out so here 
and on this one that's a fusion reactor we don't ev ever we're never going to use that anyway and that will be now a little here that one and also this way see And let's see for the inbounds. This will be the returning. And this will be annihilation spheres. This one will be quantum chips. Then it'll be on this side. It'll be the last one, the frames. And then we have here. Cool. Let's get those inbound. In, 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 and in. And it's time for us to request. We obviously can't request this one. Come on, this I can't. I'm not going to request it locally, uh, globally, and all of these just get the 1,000 of each. Like moderate numbers, right? Not provide, but request and request. And what I'm missing is back at our import hub. Where's our import? Import hub. We just find one of these that have some extra space. This one will be now importing annihilation spheres. They'll provide it locally, but import here. And maybe not like that. Probably should have said this first. There we go. 5,000 of those. Thank you very much. <laughs> and that will be making us some portable suns. Yeah. All right. So we are now going to wait for this one to be inbound. And once it is, then we should have a few of these. And that's really what we're looking for. What things are we not getting? This one doesn't seem to be... Okay, everything is here except for that one. And what's the crafting time? Crafting time is, who knows, 30 seconds. Okay, let's wait for this to come in and then see the uh, be these are being created. And now they're coming out. Here's a little flurry of annihilation constraint spheres. And that should be coming into our location, which gives us exactly what we need. Here they are, they're landing, inbound, sweet. And we got this one huffing and puffing. We want to build just a few of those so we can see that. Oh, it's actually making three per second. Yes. Oh, three per minute. That should be enough. It's going to take a while. But what we can do, unfortunately, we can request less than 100. So what we probably will do is just uh, keep a stack in our inventory, whatever our stack is. But let's uh, just build a few of those. We have the first and we're going to build a few just to stamp them down and let's see how they look. It's going to be look better when we have multiple. They look so good. Looking forward to it. And But I guess you've already seen them because my guess is they're going to be on the thumbnail. Come on. You're not working? Oh, you are working. It just, uh, if it only there was like an accelerant to make these go faster. I want to get one more. One more. Three should be the right number. And then we'll build it and then we'll see. So what is actually the power situation here? Uh, we are charging... With discharging mainly. Okay, so we're actually... Oh, discharging, yes. So this one is actually consuming power from the from the anchor system through accumulators. This is how we feed our home world, is through batteries, sending batteries here. That's kind of embarrassing. If only we had, like, portable suns or something. Let's put those out here and stamp them down and see how awesome they look. There. There. And... There. Ah, funny how they're not even in range. It says no fuel. Then we have to figure out if this is on a... Okay, so this actually has to be on a belt. Which means, they, if they run out, they will not kickstart themselves again. That's opposite of how the... Uh, how the batteries actually work. The batteries are being belt fed directly in. That means they don't need power. But if, for example, I do this, then they don't have power, and I can build all I want here. This is something you have to keep in mind if you have an outpost that's fueled by these, then you must have some kind of other power. And we're going to be putting in a few of these. I don't need that many. Boom. And nothing will happen. Until you get it power from the outside. And whoop, whoop, look at that. Puffing and puffing. Let's see. Does that that immediately just solved it? That's 225. Uh, oh no, it switched off. Why are you not happy? Huh? 
weird how it switched off that was weird when it switched off but it did and now it's good to go again so we are now having portable suns yeah i think that was a good achievement and we have a good fuel so the only thing we need is uh, now on the i don't know why it's switching off why are you switching off the other ones seem good but this one doesn't like it power load 100 conversion rate That is most strange why this one switches off. It's not because it's using it, it's maybe because it says power load 100. Cool. Anyway, so that uh, that does it. We now have a pretty good power that we can use for wherever we want it. And on top of that, we can now use antimatter. We have tons and tons of antimatter to be available. And that will be used to make our white science, which might be one of the next things we want to do. But let's see, there might be other things we want to do. Thank you very much for watching. As always, uh, thank you for joining and all the engagement, likes, shares, subscribes, all that good stuff. I really appreciate it. So uh, thank you and keep it up. I'll see you guys in the next one. And if you have good ideas for what next endeavors I should do, then just throw it at me. I definitely want to scale up science for sure. So until next time, take care. And as always, stay effective.